Do not receive this type of gift from anyone. Part 4 Hey, evil girl, stop there. Hey, don't move. Hey, who are you? Leave my way please, you mad woman. You think you will get away ignoring me? Get off my way, let me enter my compound. Not until I take that food from you. Get of my way, mad woman. No, I need the food you are carrying. Hey, come back here, bring that food. Help, thief, bring that food you thief mad woman. You cannot catch me. This food belongs to me. And me alone. Yes, finally she has stopped chasing me. Now I can enjoy this food. Hum, so yummy. Wow, this girl is so stingy, so she thought she can eat all this meat alone. It's you. It you who entered me, and you provided this sumptuous meat through that lady for me. Thank you. Thank God. It is done. He's disappeared again. Ah, please visit again, and again. So yummy. My life is ruined. What have I done to myself? Ha, ah, what do I do now? I better think of what to do fast. I don't want to die. Ha, ah, Rita, she's calling. Oh no. I am in a bigger trouble. I am finished. Ah, what's going on? Why is my sister's phone not connecting? Even Nuella's phone is not connecting either. What's all this now? I even forgot to ask her which hospital she was taking Anna to. Or is she not coming home tonight? But I told her that I was hungry, and she promised to buy me snack on her way home. Meaning, she's coming home tonight. Maybe there's no network at the hospital. What's the time now? 9.49 p.m. I just hope everything is alright with Anna. I just don't know why I am feeling so strange and cold. God please save Anna from whatever she's going through. And please bring back my sister safely home. Amen. I won't pick up this call. I rather pretend not to have seen Judy, than accepting Ty killed her. I think I have come to the end of my life. I think I better go inside and bury my head in shame. But wait a minute, if I die, Anna would become the only daughter, and I will lost everything to her. No, I won't allow her stay alive, after all I have been through because of her. Anna, I will kill you before I die. Yes, it's better we both die than me seeing you alive and enjoying all that I have suffered for. I won't let you win this battle. Before I die, you must die, I will make sure I kill you with my bare arms. Anuela, you are evil, I will forever haunt you, I promise. Ah, Judy, you, you are dead. Ah, leave me alone, you, happy, you are right. dead, go I away. You will be happy, right? I will frustrate you until you confess. I will kill you. Come here. Where are you going, you evil girl? Will frustrate leave me you alone. Until you I don't confess. want to die. I will don't kill hurt you. me, Judy. Come here. Please. Mom, open the door, please. Someone open confess the door. Well. Somebody open this door. I confess. need to get inside, please. I think she's gone. My goodness, that was close. She almost killed me. It seems everyone has gone to bed. You see, this is what I am talking about. No one cares about me. Let me stay here and plan things before going inside the house. What do I say happened to Judy? I think, I will lie of something. I can't tell anyone I used her for sacrifice. No, that will be a dumb thing to do. I know she must have told someone in her house that she was coming to see me. Maybe lying about her being killed, would do the magic. Yes, I think that would work. Yes, that's a better plan. Then, they will get the police involved, while I am distracting everyone's attention to that, I will then strike Anna. So that, no one will suspect me. At this point, I don't care about anything or anyone anymore.
After all, I will be dead in seven days. Meanwhile, Anna must die before me. I better send a message to my friend, my longtime crush. I remember, last time I complained to him about Anna, he said he would do anything for me, if I agree to date him. He once suggested some assassins to me when I cried bitterly to him, on how I felt about my sister. Yeah he promised to get rid of my sister for me, if I give him a go ahead. Yeah, let me text him, I am ready now. I don't mind they kill Anna and that good for nothing father of hers. Oh, I hate the both of them. Right now, I don't mind. I just can't stand that girl winning, while I am losing. Even in death, I will haunt her forever. He promised to do it free for me, if I date him. I hope I still have his number. Let me check my phone. Because, I need them to attack Anna, and her father at home, while I am at the police sorting out things. Yes, that's his number. Let me quickly type the message. Let me send him this message, before I go inside to tell my mum what I have in mind. Yes. Done. Let the game begin. I hope he replies my message. Wait, is that not my daughter Nula knocking? Let me check to confirm through my doorbell camera. Because, it's quite late out there. Oh, thank god. It's Nula. She's back. Wait, I am coming. Why are you crying, Nila? What is it, my daughter? What happened? Mum, my heart is completely broken. When I got upset, I left the house and some people attacked me. Ah, did they hurt you? Come here, my daughter. Oh my god, come and sit down. Please, tell me what happened. Should I call the doctor? Did they hurt you? Please speak to me. Should I call the police? Please, talk to me. They killed Judy. <gasps> I beg your pardon. You said what? They killed Judy my friend. She is dead. Oh no. My friend. What? Who? How? When I left the house, I called Judy to come pick me up, that, there was an emergency. By the time she came, I noticed some men inside her car. Do you know these men? Did you recognize any one of them? No. I did not see their faces because, they were wearing masks. Then, they bundled me, and put me inside the booth of Judy's car. Then, what happened next? They raped Judy, butchered her in the forest and threw her body into the river. Ah, what? Blood of Jesus. Oh no, oh no. So, how did you escape? I screamed Jesus Christ, and I don't know what happened, they ran away. God I thank you. Thank you for rescuing my daughter. Thank you Lord. Oh my God. I think, we need to call the cops. You have to tell them everything you have said to me. They killed my best friend. Oh my god Judy, it's all my fault. Wait here, let me get my phone. I need to call the cops. We have informed Judy's parents of her murder and they are on their way to the station to hear your statement. So, Miss Newell you will have to come with us to the station to make a statement. Okay officer. Come this way. The car is across the road. Mom. I will be coming behind with your father. Please, come alone. Please. But why? I just want you to come alone. Okay, then, I will. Officer, take her to the vehicle. Okay, sir. Nula was kept in the station that night, while her mother went home to pray with her family regarding the case. The following day, she was brought in for questioning and investigation started. Judy's parents were heartbroken, hearing the disappearance and death of their daughter. Judy's father was brought in to hear Nula's story, and some important investigations were carried out in Nula's home. <coughs> so I will never see my sister again. Please stop crying. We will make sure she gets justice. God will never put us to shame. I wished I stopped her that night. I knew something was just not right. Oh God, why take my sister? She's all I have. Please let this be a joke. Please God. Come here my darling. It's okay. God will not disappoint us. Oh my precious Judy. Ah, my daughter is gone. Just like that. They wept and wept as they waited for their father to come back from the police station, where he went to see hear Newell's statement. 
Darren, you sent for me. Yes, Tiger. Please come. Okay, boss. Is there a problem, boss? I will need you and the boys to carry out an operation for me. You remember that my crush, Nula? Oh, yes, I do. Has she accepted to go out with you? Yes, but with a condition that I need us to achieve tonight. What condition, if I may ask? Hum, good question. You remember I promised to do anything for her if she accepts to be my girlfriend. Now she wants me to do something for her. Yes, I remember. So, she wants you to do what exactly for her? She wants her stepfather and half-sister dead tonight. Hmm, that's a strange and scary request. But why would she want them dead? I don't know, but she told me some time ago that they don't treat her nicely in that house. You know I love that girl. And you know, I don't joke with the people I love dearly. So, yes, I will fight for anything I love. I will prove to Nula that I am capable of taking care of her. So I need you and your boys to go to her home tonight and kill the beast she called her stepfather and sister. Are we permitted to rape the young lady? Oh sure. I know you love beautiful women, and I can tell for sure, the girl in question is beautiful. So, do as you wish, but don't forget to kill her after you're done. What time do you want us to leave? Let's say, 9, no, 10, no, 12 midnight would be perfect. Consider it done, big boss. I will do anything to win you the love of your life. Even if it takes killing the entire community. I trust you. I know what you can do. That's why, I choose you. Now go and start organizing things. While they were planning to visit Anna and her dad at home that night, this was happening back at the station. Thanks for this information Miss Nuella. I have listened to your statement, and it's quite shocking that, our man has gone to the river bank, where you said, your friend, Judy's body was butchered, and thrown into the river. They could not find a single blood stains, or her remains. That's because, they cleaned it up. Can't you reason with me? They are assassins. They know how to get ridden off this things. I see. Well, another shocking thing we discovered was a call traced on your phone. <gasps> a call. You called Judy last night, and you asked her to accompany you to see one so-called Queen Mother. If I may ask, who is this Queen Mother? She's our mentor. Oh, mentor. Why would you ask her to take you to your mentor that night? Because I needed to discuss with someone about my pains, my inability to secure a job, and frustration. Judy was the one who introduced me to this queen mother, who helps me to deal with my mental health. So that night, I had a misunderstanding with my sister, and all I needed was to speak to someone, so I called Judy to accompany to go speak to our mentor. And why did you not pick up her sister's call that night? That was because I was shocked and speechless at that time. I see, but you went on to call Damien, when he didn't pick up. You then went on to send him text messages. How do you know this Mr. Damien? Do you know this Damien happens to be a notorious cult member in this community? Ah, uh, officer, I don't know any Damien, and I didn't send out any text. I believed my phone must have been hacked to frame me up. Sorry Miss Nuella, your phone shows you ordered this Damien guy, to arrange some men to kill your half-sister, and your stepfather. No I did not. I can't do that officer, I love my sister so much. I am a Christian, trust me, I can't do such. Well, I'm afraid that you will remain with us, until we carry out our investigations. Sir, there is a new development. We will like you to come and see the CCTV of Miss Nuella's home as her mom has released it to us. And Judy's father is on his way to the river, with some officers, to collect some DNA samples to see, if there is any match. Awesome. Thanks Officer Cindy. Please take Miss Nuella back to the cell, while I go see the CCTV footage of last night events. Yes sir. Come with me Nuella. Get up Nuella. Please go with Officer Cindy. Let me know if there is anything. Would be on my way. Okay sir. What CCTV are you talking about? There is nothing to look at on the CCTV. I am innocent officer. Please. Listen, I want to go home. I just lost my best friend. Remember. Don't worry, we just have to do our job. Once we find you innocent, you will be free to go home. Now, come with me. It's time to return to your cell. Welcome Officer William. Hello. Please, can I see the CCTV footage of Miss Nuella's home please? 
While the officer was at the crime lab, waiting to view the CCTV footage, Judy's father was at the riverbank crying and begging God to rest his daughter's soul. Judy, Judy, my darling daughter, where are you? Oh God, my daughter, please come to daddy. I know you can hear me. Judy, my baby, my Gabriel, please come to me. I understand please, that you are hurting, you. but oh please God, stay out of the river, please. Daughter from me. Don't Why? do this to no, yourself, I am please. Not leaving. She's Leave gone. Alone. Please, come out of the river. Please. Judy, Judy my darling daughter. Where come, let's take oh him God, out of daughter. here, please. please come okay, sir. I know you can hear me. Sure, sir. Give me a second. Let me transmit it from the control room. Okay. I will be waiting. Yeah, please give me a second. It's been displayed on the system. Please, kindly check it. Yes, that's a better plan. Then, they will get the police involved. While I am distracting everyone's attention to that, I will then strike Anna. So that, no one will suspect me. At this point, I don't care about anything or anyone anymore. That's enough, please come. Oh, okay sir. I am coming sir. This is awesome. The CCTV has revealed more than enough evidence that Miss Nuella is guilty of the death of her friend Judy. Quickly, send it to the chief executive officer and to the crime scene investigators, and also to all those handling this case. Do that fast. Yes sir. I have to inform some detectives and police officers to go and arrest Damien and his gangs tonight. They must be planning to kill Miss Anna and her dad tonight, and we must stop them. That is fine sir, let me dive into it. The police invited Nula's mum over to inform her of their next move. Anna and her dad was taken to a safe place while the police wait for Damien and his gangs when this happened. Thanks so much for bringing in the CCTV footage. Once we retrieve the information in it, we would use it for our investigation. But please, can I see my daughter? Sure, I will send in someone to take you to her. Please sit down and wait while I get an officer to take you to her. Okay, thanks Officer Sherry. You're welcome. Oh God, I can't believe this is happening to my daughter. Lord I pray you deliver her from all this trouble, and grant her the fortitude to bear the sudden loss of her friend. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power of his blood and the Holy Spirit, I lift to the Lord myself, my family, most especially Nula, for whom I am praying. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over all of us for our protection. By the authority of the word of God, it is written, Whatsoever is bound on earth is bound in heaven, what is loosed on earth is loosed in heaven. Matt 16:19. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke and break any curses, hexes, spells, demonic activity, or any other evil thing that has been sent against me or passed down through the generations to me or to any of my children in Jesus Christ's name. I cut all bonds of all relationships that are not of the Lord, and put his cross between us. We are cut free and we are free indeed. John 8:36. We are now free to become the children of God the Lord intended us to be, filled to overflowing with the power of the Holy Spirit of God. The new Lord Lord is a murderer. Jesus Christ. She killed me. Amen. She's a killer. Ask her why she killed me. But wait a minute. What if they find my daughter guilty of this crime? No. My daughter is innocent. I doubt she will harm a fly. I trust her with all of my soul. Hello Ma. I am the cell warder. I am here to take you to your daughter. Okay, thanks. Dad, where did you say we are going to? I don't know for now, but the officer said, we should go to the nearest station. From there, they will take us to a safe place. But why? Some people wants us dead, tonight. Ah, dead. Oh my goodness. Who wants us dead? I don't know, but when we get to the station, the officers will tell us everything. Okay, Dad. Let's go. They took left, sir. Should I follow them? No. They will suspect that we are following them. I think they just entered the estate car park. Let's pull over Anna's house and wait behind the building. Okay, sir. I hope they are already sleeping. I hope so, too. That would make the job easy for us. Exactly. Please turn the music. Okay, Tiger. I want to be in a good mood to rape that beauty before she dies tonight.
Story by Quincy Onyakachi Okoy Oragwa. If you enjoyed this video, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the like button, leave a comment and don't forget to share. Thanks for watching.